We're going to be working on number two on the general knowledge practice test for the FTCs. This is a practice test for teachers in Florida. This is also a really good problem if you're in Massachusetts or in California. This problem today we're going to be focusing on fractions, decimal, and percents. Okay, let's start. Number two. The regular price of a computer is $1,200, and the regular price of a printer is $300. An electronic store has a promotion that offers a 40% discount on the printer when the computer is purchased at the regular price. What is the total cost of the computer and the printer at the promotional price? All right, so there's, there's a lot of information here, and one way to approach this problem is to just sort of pull out the key information from this problem. And when I pull it out, I don't. Sometimes you know it's like highlight the problems, highlight the problems. Well, sometimes you can't really highlight because you're working, you're doing your tests and it's on a computer. But you do have you know a pad of paper where you can take some notes. So this is where you want to put the information on the page. And one way to do that is just to create you know some model drawings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a model drawing of the computer here. Here's my computer. C is the computer, and a hundred percent of the computer price is equal to um, $1,200, right? Now I'm using a unit square. The unit square says that uh, basically one unit square is equal to 100% of the price. So right now this computer at full price is $1,200. And I'm going to be adding the cost of the printer, which is not as much, but 100% of the printer, the full price of the printer is $300. Now it says here that uh, if you buy the computer at its regular price, you're going to get 40% off the printer. So it means that I'm going to still I'm going to pay 1,200 for the computer, but I'm getting a discount of 40% off. So I get I save 40%. Don't have to pay 40%. That's awesome. So if I don't have to pay 40%, what percent do I have to pay? Well, out of the whole 100%, I'm really only going to have to pay 60% of the original price. Now I go about trying to find out what is the total. Total means that you're going to be adding two combined sums. At this point in time, because I've sort of worked out this model drawing and, and was able to conceptually think about um, what the computer is at 100% of the price and what the printer is at 100% of the price, and then slowly work through what... Um, what I'm taking the 40% off of by doing the model drawing I've actually worked through you know a lot of this problem already and now I understand it I understand that well I'm not taking I'm not getting any discount off the computer so that portion of this problem is going to be the same I am taking away that 40% from the 300 or I'm really only paying 60% of 300 so what I have to find out here is what is uh, what is 60% of 300 and that's where this, the core calculations in this problem are going to come. How do you find out 60% of a whole number? Well, one way, there's a lot of ways to do this, but one way that works is turn the, the percent into a decimal. And I do that by you get rid of the percent sign and you move the decimal over two spaces to the right, I mean to the left, pardon me. So this would actually become 0 0.6. Now the of is another way of saying multiply. So what I have here is what is um, 6 tenths, which is the same as 6% times 300. So that one there, I've got to do my multiplication now and be very careful. I'm going to factor, I'm going to move the decimal to the right one space. And I just have to remember to move it back to the left one space after I do my calculation. So 6 times 300 is 0, 0. 6 times 3 is 18. So I have 1,800. But because I moved it to the right one space, I've got to move it back. So really, 60% or 6 tenths of 300 is $1,800. So out of the $300, I'm only really going to be paying $1,800. And uh, I'm saving, I guess, 40% is $120. So if I'm only paying, eight, um, I'm sorry, not $1,800, uh, $1,080, if I'm only paying $180 here, Add that to the hundred uh, one thousand um, two hundred. Uh, it comes out to thirteen hundred and eighty dollars. Now, what's what's unique about this problem? 
Well, I wouldn't say anything's terribly unique about it, except that it is a, a word problem that you have to pull out the information from. It has these partial relationships in it. You definitely see that you're dealing with, you know, 50% out of the 300. Whenever you see a percent, a percent in a problem, it usually has to do with partial relationships. So you're think, you should be thinking partial relationships, fractions, decimal percents, and you should be very familiar and very comfortable with how to do calculations like 60% of a number. You, the way you do that is you turn the percent into um, its decimal and you multiply the decimal by that, that whole number. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. This is a good intro to a number sense, fraction, decimal, and percent word problem. Thanks team so much for watching. All right, have an awesome and amazing day. Take care, bye-bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful. Thank you.